Hey, driving in it. It's just a mess out there. But we're seeing some signs of hope out there this afternoon. Yeah, we're actually seeing some blue sky in spots. Oh, yeah. fancy, <laughs> so Thomas. That, that's, what does that even mean, <laughs> Thomas? So that's what color the sky is when it's not snowing. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> kind of forgot what color it was. But we are still seeing snow, especially in the high country. And I do want to talk about how the avalanche risk does remain high, especially for our northern area mountains, where the avalanche warning continues for the Wasatch Mountains through tonight through six o'clock in the morning on Thursday. And I would not be surprised if this avalanche warning gets extended. It's a day you do not want to spend in the back country. We have seen natural slides and human trigger avalanches are likely. And the reason why is because of how much snow we have seen. Now these are snow totals since this past weekend. So our most recent storm cycle snowbird 67 inches of snow, little cottonwood canyon over five feet of new snow. Canyons Park City 49, Snow Basin Powder Mountain both over 45 inches, Cherry Peak at 42. Big Cottonwood Canyon, not as impressive as Little Cottonwood Canyon, but if you were to take out Little Cottonwood Canyon, 30, 26 to 35 inches is still very impressive with almost two feet of snow at Deer Valley. But look at the snow totals that we have seen so far this season. Almost 875 at Alta. Snowbird now joins the 800 inch club while Solitude is closing in on 780, 617 at Park City Mountain. Snow Basin closing in on 600 inches and almost doubling their seasonal average. We are talking about some significant snow, snow that we have never seen before, and it's still coming down in the mountains. This is the view from Alta. Interlodge is still in effect as that snow just continues to be unrelenting up Little Cottonwood Canyon, and we're seeing more so scattered snow showers in northern Utah. We do have some snow in Salt Lake City, but the bulk of what we're seeing is actually now in the high country. And that's also the case in eastern Utah and in southern Utah as we have a ripple of energy working its way through. So we're going to hold on to that chance. And because we're holding on to that chance, the winter storm warning for the Wasatch Mountains has been extended through 6 o'clock this evening as we could see an additional 1 to 3 inches for most mountains in, within the warning. And we could see locally a little bit higher than that. But for today in Salt Lake City, a daytime high of 37 degrees snow shower. That chance will be ending as we go from this afternoon into tonight. It's going to be turning cold tonight, but down in St. George, mostly sunny skies and cool temperatures and with high pressure settling in. We're going to be looking at dry skies to close out this week. And as we go into this Easter weekend, we're going to be going on a warming trend and we'll talk about just how warm it could get coming up in just a few minutes. Brian, Jillian, looking forward to it. Thank you much, Thomas.